comment in the section below, then please call in after the show so we can talk about it. All right, so um, second topic is why is everybody calling Russell Wilson a simp, lame, every name in the book other than a good man? Now, there are some men out there that are championing him, you know, that is like, you know, that's one black man or whatever his ethnicity is. That's one guy that uh, doesn't mind dating a single mom, you know, and he's he embracing it. And then everybody, I see some comments where they're like so upset with him because uh, pretending to what Jared said earlier about same woman, two women, same thing. The only difference is she one has a kid. So there was like, he's a millionaire. He's good looking. He got a lot going for himself. Why would he want to date somebody who future and ran through? Why would he want to date somebody that has a kid? I know, I know. Wow, so wow. let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it. Bow Wow, 50 Cent. There's, there's other dudes in the future, too. <laughs> okay, but like everyone. <coughs> that don't matter, let though. Jay, That's look, a, let Jay talk. I want to hear what he over there mumbling in, in, into that mic. What is you mumbling? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like. Mumbling like the people. The, the whole thing with future, the whole thing with, with, the whole thing with Russell Wilson and Sierra is funny just because of the whole future part of it. Like, the fact that she went from future to Russ and they're so different, at least on the outside. It's just yeah. funny. It's just it's just like it's like it's a perfect recipe for jokes because you look at Russ and he's like a cornball. You look at Future and he's all thugged out. And Fifty you, Cent was thugged out. Yeah, so it's just like it just make you want to joke on him. Like I don't. A lot of people are hey, joking her and on 50 Russ. Cent were a thing. I thought they had just like did. And, that, and that's that's the thing. Like they're saying that you, she had to go, which I think a lot of women go through this once we really deep deep dive into it. Which is we do go through that phase of I want that. You know, but then you'd be like, they ain't shit. You know what? I'll take a cornball. But I've always wanted a cornball in a mid-ugly guy. Oh, but I didn't know her and 50 Cent was a thing. See, that's my thing, too. Like, it's like, you know, people are linked with people. But I'm like, okay, I just thought they, like, I don't know, like, did something together. Like, I didn't think they were, like, ever dating. But I guess 50 they Cent did. is on her roster. Of I was looking this up because I knew it was a topic. And I was looking, like, who has Sierra, like, publicly dated there's been there's articles that say that she denied it, but then I guess she was on the Wendy Williams show and she had talked about it. So they denied they, fifty, huh? Yeah. Oh, please, she oh. wrote a song. She wrote songs about it. And uh, Wait, do we know that for sure though? Did she ever say that I wrote this song for this? Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I didn't. Oh, no. I mean, when I had looked it up, like I said, there was articles that said that the, she said in some interview that she denied it, that it was only just a music video, blah, blah, blah. They were getting engaged. Apparently. Oh, no. 50 Cent and he had went on the Wendy yeah, Williams. Yeah, he, he said he bought a ring for her. He and it. What's it called? She went on the Wendy Williams. Talking about Sierra? Show and she yeah. Talked yeah. About it. yeah, no, they dated for real. Yeah, and uh, he, he was about to um, marry her. Uh, 50 Cent like, was about to marry Sierra? Yeah, like he was, That's he was crazy. talking. He talked about it on some type of interview somewhere, and he was talking wow. about like after they broke up, he was talking about the the fact that he was really serious about, about her. her. Like yep. he was really serious yeah. about her. I don't know about the whole like I was gonna propose thing, but I know that it, like they were in a committed relationship. Well, I don't know if it was committed. Well, she talked about it on the Wendy Williams about. show. I think there's different reports out there, but they dated. But I guess my thing is yeah. like. How many rappers out here you see going through Instagram model to the next Instagram model? Like, I mean, it's definitely a double standard. There's yeah, always going to be a double standard when it comes to that. Standard. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't mad at Sierra for for you know getting with Russ. It's just Jerry, funny because like real strong. Back up off that mic. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned the volume up. My bad. Oh, <laughs> is it better now? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Nah, but oh, can't even scare me. The whole yeah, thing. Me too. <laughs> The whole thing with, with Russ taking pics with future son and, and hugging him and pushing him around in the stroller. Like, <laughs> that's a part of the stepdaddy license. That looks crazy. Know, that's I had to that's take a permit. That man, that's son, a permit. Yeah. Why does that look that was the crazy? Permit. The license is when he got married. Can I talk? Can I, let me say something real quick. Because y'all know what I'm going to say. I am on Russell's side. Because Russell <laughs> is me and I am Russell. I respect okay. Russ, but it's still Daniel cool. Daniel is for the stepdaddy license. He is for it. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not just a stepdaddy thing. It's just a simple fact that the, the type of man that he is, yeah, is is a rare breed. And the thing yeah. is, it's the it's only the ones. Well, I can't say that because I don't know everybody, but it's mainly the ones that have some type of of bow wow in them, some type of dog in them that is <laughs> making them look bad. 
<laughs> not you know what I'm saying? Well. And it's like there's there's what it like literally like not not Bow Wow the, the rapper. I'm saying some type of dog in him that he oh, well, did that something was, that to fit a then if you didn't mean it that way. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she was dating Bow Wow too. I read a meme that yeah, she did. That. That's why I did that. It was it was a pun. It worked because I, I thought a meme I was talking. Where it said that that guys pick on Russell Simmons because he was the guy that they picked on in high school, and then now that they're all Russell Simmons up, was the guy that nobody wanted. Y'all talking about Russell Wilson or Russell Simmons? Simmons. Oh, Russell Twitter. Wilson, sorry. <laughs> Russell Wilson. I, sorry. I, I wouldn't want Russell Simmons either. <laughs> <laughs> That man got Kamora Lee. He did that. So oh, he was that he, he was, was that they picked on. I, we can talk about the plies topic as well. Like women going out here doing their bodies only just to get with rich guys that are ugly. And Rick, Russell Simmons was that's the move. Like, you got to get get to, get to the money, man. If you got money, you can get chicks, bro. Easy, easy, easy. honestly, not a problem. I mean, you you might not get all of them, but you're gonna get a lot of them. They're gonna flock to yeah. you. Don't even have to. What Future it. said, did Future has said something like that quote? Said he said, if you get money, then you hurt tight. Facts. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's you even know. true in the hood. That's true in Mary County. That's true. That's Facts. True. You don't have yes. to be handsome. That's you true. Get money, you like, get girls. You're not gonna get a good guy. Like you can go back to high school. Let's go back to high school. Let's say like you got the the cornballs and the nerds and the jocks or whatever. Like the guys who play sports and stuff and got a car or whatever. Or maybe not even have a car. They might be bumming rides with their homeboy, a scrub, you know. But the guy that's actually good for him, that's on the honor roll, that's on the band, that's doing what he's supposed to do, has no a play. car, has a little side job. No the play. girl isn't looking at him. Like, she no. wants the guy who got the letter jacket, like, who, mm-hmm. who needs help with his homework, you know, who, who she buying pizza at the pizza line. Like, you know, that's just how it, unfortunately. There was a, there was a post that went viral. There was a post that went viral and it was talking about if he if he if he stay if he goes to work and comes home, pays the bills, he's a corny A nigga. Excuse my language, a corny A person. Uh, sorry. And that's but that crazy. was verbatim. That was that was verbatim. Uh, some the, people just be posting stuff to get a reaction. Yeah, like <laughs> people just be people just be talking. And what was the, it that they the, said that they needed? Like they wanted to go out, go dancing. What the move? What what did what? Did no, they, they were. Ba- oh, that's that's all the quote said. I don't like. I didn't. Oh, I need more. I com- I'm a comment person. Like I I, I go in. Uh, but Jared, what did you mean when you said that? You know, they showed like future. I mean, not future. Russell is definitely involved in little in little future's life. Like he does As things he for him. Be. He plays sports. He does all of those things. And you were just like, I don't know if it was joking or not, but you was just like, you know, he's he was pushing that man's son in a stroller, doing whatever, throwing a football with him. Like, why is it that is it that he shouldn't be doing those things? No, he definitely shouldn't be doing those things. That's why not. I disagree. Because that's disagree. not my thing is. Levels? It's That's not his kid. No, he didn't say it levels. He said he's on it. I think there should be a boundary when it's my kid and you dating. Just because you dating my kid's mom don't mean you can they be married now. There's a difference. Still, though, yeah, that's well, let's, 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 yes. let's let him finish. So he, let's can he let kiss him his finish. kid, too? Can he kiss him and hug him and all that? I don't want you kissing my son or my daughter or nobody. You're not my. You're not their dad. Get out of here. So, so, okay, so you're saying, like, no, like what? I guess like what would be acceptable to for Russell to do? You can talk to him. You can talk with him. You can throw the football with him, but don't be picking him up. Don't be doing that. Just keep your hands off my kid, bro. Yeah, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Pause, pause before you answer the question, Courtney. Hold up. I see a lot of people commenting. Women are commenting. Uh, keep this topic in mind. Call in after the show so you can um voice your opinion because we need y'all y'all moms up here. Like you don't have to be on live like we are, but just call in. After the show, because I want y'all opinions. I see y'all. Okay, go ahead, Courtney. So you're saying okay. So Sierra have more have t- basically almost full custody of like the child is with him with her most of the time. She's married. They have a whole household together. You're saying that there's no possible way that that would be okay to actually spend time with the child that's living in the same house as you. No, you can spend time. I'm saying it's how you spend time. I. You don't, Me, want him to t- you don't want him to show him love? Like, that's no, the love that you're I really, about. I, I'll be honest with you. I really don't want him. I really don't want another man just because you're dating my kid's mom, spending time with my son. That's my son. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. I understand that. But that's where your responsibility comes in to make sure that you make up the time that you're missing out. Because there's, no, no- I'm going to spend time with him, but I just don't want that guy just because he's smashing my mom, my, smashing my kid's mom, mean he can play with my kid and, and kiss him and hug him and play. If I can interject as another man, because y'all, I don't want y'all to crucify them. 
That's just me personally. I'm not speaking for nobody. It's just me. I'm. I just don't. I'm not comfortable with that. But and, you know, and we're outnumbered. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. No, but go ahead. Here, here's go the thing. Ahead. The only thing that I disagree with. The only thing that I disagree with, Jared. With, well, I disagree with almost everything you said when it comes to this. But, <laughs> um, and the only here's the only reason why. The only reason why is this. Now you know that they have another child now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, they have a younger child. They have two other child, two other yeah. children. Excuse me. I'm working on the third. How would you feel? I'm gonna give you a scenario. How if 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 Russell was doing everything that you said that he that you wanted a man to do as far as like don't be affectionate with my son or daughter, don't you know do certain things with my son or daughter. If he he's predominantly at their house, okay, he's not he's he, future don't got sole custody. You know what I'm saying? He's predominantly at Sierra and and Russell's house. Okay, how would you feel if that child came home to you and was like? Mr. Russell don't like me. Mr. Russell, don't, he don't really mess with me like that. Then you're going to have a problem because now you're thinking of something else. That makes sense what I'm saying? Maybe not you, but the, does, other, the other person, the other, like, uh, uh, maybe not you because you're, you're different, but most men are going to be like, all right, so what is the problem that you have on my child? Now your child sees Russell doing things, being affectionate, doing mm -hmm. things towards, they don't know about stepdaddies and real daddies. Mm -hmm. right. You know how young Russell's child was when they got together. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that Russell's there 90% of the time and the other 10% he's with Future, I mean, excuse me, the kid is with Future, he, he sees him as a father figure. So now, like, it, 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 he's gonna have, to, he's gonna learn that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm jumbled yeah. up, but I'm just saying, no, like, you, you, I get he, what you're he saying deserves too. to get the same treatment if I have a child, if I, if I marry a woman and she has a child and then she births my child, my body, that my stepchild is going to get the same treatment that my biological child does with boundaries, of course, with certain boundaries, yeah. but I'm going to talk to that, that, to that baby daddy. Like, look, I'm not, it, it, it's gotta be fair. Cause I don't want your child to feel, to grow up resenting not only me, but his or her mother, because she's allowing that. You get what I'm saying? I do. So it, it just, it just in that situation, I feel like it has to be equal. There's some, there's some things that you can't do. Like I'm not, I don't think I'm ever gonna spank. Like if I, if I ever date somebody with a child, I can't put my hands on that child. There's some things you just can't do. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. So but we gotta go When it back comes to there. showing love and affection, and yeah, I, that's the only thing I disagree. That's what I, I think I'm, it is, just love and affection. So it's like I don't want to say that yeah. you're saying that he shouldn't show him love and affection, but to me, those things that you're mentioning that he shouldn't do, those are just like standard things. Like if he's going to school and you like have a good day at school and he goes to hug his mom, you don't want him to hug Russell. No, I don't want him to hug Russell. That's just that's me. Okay, we all so different. But I don't want him hugging Russell Wilson. That's not my. Think. So you no. sound like you're old school. You sound like you're traditional. Meaning, I'm gonna that, be with the kids' mom. I don't, I don't want my kid with some. I don't want my kid with. You are. You're if not I have a baby them. with somebody, I'm trying to make it work. Hey, with them. turn your mic yeah. down just a little more. Turn my mic down just a little more. Yeah. If I have a baby with somebody, I'm trying to make it work with them, and okay, I hopefully yeah. they don't end up. You know, we don't end up breaking up, and they don't have to go get some other dude. But that's not ideal for me. That's not an ideal situation where my kid is around some other dude and getting hugged and kisses and all this other stuff with some other dude. That's my kid. It's not, I don't, I'm not comfortable with it. That's just me. So, so to me, it feels like Garrett is the type where he's saying, um, even if they are having problems, he's going to do everything in his power to keep his family together. There you they go. got to go to uh, therapy on their own, couples therapy, you know, exactly. kid in there, like he don't want two separate households. So he he oh, comes off as the type where he's saying, even if it ain't working, he's still gonna be in the, the household for the kid at least until they graduate. We're gonna, make, we're gonna have to make that don't work. I ain't about to right. have my kid with some other dude. Right. Yeah. I mean, I I mean, I get what you're I saying because I do believe that it's boundaries. You know, I believe, but I don't feel like there should be boundaries on how you love the kid and how you interact as far as like. I can't get too close to you, or I can't do if that. Like, another dude they're gonna that feel that. Already, gonna I feel, I feel, I feel like the boundary should be. I feel like the boundary should be, especially like with Russell and Sierra. Like, I don't know what Future does on the daily, but of course he lives with Sierra and Russell, so we're gonna see them interacting with him more. My only thing is, like, I feel like just because they're doing that doesn't mean that Future is not there for his kid, like he needs to be. You know what I mean? I like agree. he could be, I he agree. could be doing things for the kid and and all those things. Like um, without, you know, a lot of people think that he may be not active. I don't know their situation. We know but he ain't active because there's a lot of them damn kids. The only, the only active father we know is Bootsy. 
with his trapping ass. Yeah, like, 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 would y'all want y'all kid to have daddy love for a kid for somebody who's not their dad? That's that's what I'm saying. Like, that's my only boundary. Like, I don't want the other the step parent to overstep their boundaries to make it seem like that they're their biological parent. You know what I mean? Like, there's that, that something is for me. My whole thing I'm is, daddy. I'm thinking along the lines. I'm thinking me. along the lines of the child of what the child is gonna think. Because I the think sometimes we know fail to dad. realize that. Yeah, and that's that's no problem. That is no problem. And it, and and y'all should make sure that the child knows that you're the daddy. But at the same time, it doesn't matter to an extent if a child sees one child, like his stepbrother or sister, especially if they're young. I'm talking about really young kids. Mm -hmm. They see a certain treatment happening to somebody who lives in the same house as them. All that's going to go around out the window. I think we you all we all kind of experience that low key. If, I mean, right. if we kind of want to get personal a little bit. I think we all, and correct me if I'm wrong, or even say, I actually I don't want to talk about that. But I think we all kind of was. Our mom and dad probably was together. They did it didn't work out. Then mom had a life. You know, she brought in a guy or didn't work out. They brought in another guy. It didn't work out. And then she was like, you know what? This ain't for me. I'm just gonna. Take care of that on my own time. I don't want men around my children, you know. So I think we. I know there's situations though. There are situations, and there are situations where I just want to say this one thing. If that's okay, there are situations where that kid grows up resenting their parents, stepdad or biological mom or vice versa. They grow up resenting, and it's and the reason why is because when when my when my situation happened and my mom started dating. Other other man, even though I was I was borderline a teenager when it happened, I already had the mindset like you ain't gonna tell me what to do. You ain't gonna do that in the third. You know what you I'm saying? You ain't my daddy. You ain't my daddy. And the thing is right. this, like, and which is cool, you know. And I still kind of felt that way, even though I'm 27. If she dates somebody else, like, listen, know your role. But the simple fact of the matter is, like, if <laughs> if if it was that, I think if I was a kid and my mom was to marry somebody else, and I would have a stepbrother or sister, and that father. That specific father is doing everything for his child and not doing anything for me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, I only see my dad on the weekends. I don't know if this is real love or fake love. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he just want to take pictures with me just to show Facebook that he's he's being a father. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just, I, I'm thinking along the lines of the kid, like, I want fairness. I Yeah, you my stepdad, you're not my biological father, but yes, I might still want to hug. You might the only father I know. Courtney has something because she's saying. been having her hand up for the longest. <laughs> Courtney. Um, what's it called? I was just going to say, I didn't feel like that at all. I think my parents have been divorced for as long as I can remember. And I think, I don't know if it was a conscious decision for them to start dating when they, you know, when I was like, you know, in middle school, you know, and up. I don't know if that was a conscious thing. I don't know if it just happened that way, but they both lived their lives. And I never from either side, even when they were dating people that they might've been getting serious with, or, you know, they both remarried, you know, all that good stuff like that. I've never gotten that, that feeling of, um, I had to not like the other person or, you know, vice versa. I mean, to this day, my mom, my dad's remarried. My mom is like, that's your, you know, that's your stepmom. You need to get closer to her. You need to do, 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 do. like it's, it, she's always been that person. My dad has always been that person. I don't, it's yeah. just, well, I have not really much that, I mean, my dad doesn't really talk, but that's a whole nother story. But, um, but I've never gotten that feeling. I've never gotten that feeling or, um, like, uh, by mom, um, when she had got remarried, he had kids too, I think that were around the same age and he treated me just the same. Granted, I mean, we, I didn't know him that much. I didn't know him that well, but I mean, he treated me just the same, but I think. Oh, go ahead, Courtney. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, you froze. Oh, That's you froze for a second, Ashley. Um, Jared, let me ask you. Um, Davin, does it matter? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, because my internet just went out. Does it matter if it's a boy or a girl? Because you're kind of giving me vibes of like if it's just a girl, son. it's probably worse. Honestly, because now, oh, yeah. thinking, like, so now I'm thinking, okay, cool. So it's a grown ass man around my daughter. Um, especially how old is she? You know what I'm saying? If she's preteen age, you know, a lot of them kids get molested who got these stepdads around, um, yes, stepmom, stepdad. So I'm not trying to have my daughter around no dude that I don't know. That's just it. 
I don't know. Like that. That's to me. That's just yeah, dangerous. I, mean, I, I agree. I agree. I to agree have your kid around that. that guy. I see where you. That's not her dad. Yeah. That's not his dad. I'm their dad. Yet this guy's up in the house, walking around in his boxes and t-shirt. That's I'm not with it. Yeah. All right. So final thoughts on this topic, and then we're gonna go to the the. Uh, the I third. just want to say I respect what Jared is saying. I think for Jared too, yeah. it's more like from the jump, it's like I'm gonna like try to be with my kid's mom like any means necessary yeah any means necessary keep it together because if if we're not together like i'm not trying to navigate having nobody else around my kid like i get it i get it yeah and i respect that yeah people don't think about when they have kids they don't think about it in advance like yo let me let's make sure we actually like each other and we're gonna stay together how you pregnant and you already broke up with the dude? That mean y'all ain't had no planning at all. Y'all didn't think about Sierra it. Yeah, ain't with that pregnant thing. <laughs> How you? Or even if you a year, like Sierra, Sierra had, Sierra broke up with Future. The baby was like nine months old when she started talking to Russ. That means you and Russ. Excuse me. That means you and Future must not have did a lot of planning if y'all already broke up and the baby not even one year old yet. That's terrible I mean, planning. Things do happen though. I mean, That's, things hey, things happen, happen but y'all they, they moment, do it. Big you know, time. <laughs> things happen. All right, that, so that I will say. so okay, so once again, everybody, that was topic number two. We have an after show. If you have an opinion on it, call in. All right, moving on to the uh, third topic, uh, which this 